Hi, my name is Jeff, and I wanted to put this video out there because when I went on Google and YouTube, I couldn't find anyone who upgraded their SD card. So I just wanted to, you know, get you guys a visual so, uh, you know, you could do it yourself. And you just get one of these little screw kits so you can get down in there and make sure you flash your SD card appropriately. Every SD card needs to be formatted appropriately, and the Helium SD card needs to be properly flashed in their way so it, it syncs to the blockchain correctly. So in the description below, I'm going to have the step-by-step -step process that Helium support uh, emailed me when I told them, you know, my Helium hotspot was having problems. Uh, it was just all of a sudden dropping off and not earning any rewards, especially after I sent Helium back and forth. And they eventually figured out, you know, your SD card is probably getting faulty. It's two years old and it's rewritten over itself so many times. I find these uh, metal plates that are magnetic are really helpful for not losing the screws. Uh, that help a lot. But the reason why I had to upgrade the SD card is because the blockchain file actually got too big. And I think 8 or 10% or something of the all the total Helium hotspots online, they went down because um, the blockchain was just too big of a file. And for some reason, a bunch of the hotspots went down. Mine was one of the earliest ones uh, within the first thousand hotspots. So it was having problems. And I just, I took too long to upgrade this SD card, actually. They, they updated the, um, like the software, they updated the blockchain so that um, it was fixed. But I still thought, hey, you know, I think it would be a smart idea to upgrade the SD card just so this problem doesn't happen again in the future. And I got, you know, I don't have to take out the ladder for at least six months or a year, hopefully longer. So once you go ahead and you get all those screws attached, you got to be extremely careful at this part. This was the first time I ever unscrewed this. And I learned that my version had the wire attached and soldered pretty loosely. So you can see how shaky my hands are. I was getting pretty nervous even looking at this. I thought I would rip that, uh, that piece right off but once once you see that it's pretty well attached to it you can go and let uh, let it down very gently so to make sure that wire doesn't unattach because then you would definitely have to resolder it I, I kicked the tripod here just because my mind was all over the place uh, making sure I didn't do that so as soon as I was looking underneath and got a good picture of it um, then I'd pull it up and show it to the camera here but we're only the only thing we're doing is changing out this SD card. So as long as we don't screw up anything else in it, should be good to go. So I had to sell a lot of my coins below two bucks before the first run up, uh, just to pay a lot of my bills. But helium is definitely one of those trillion dollar coins, especially since it has some use cases, and especially once they get 5G rolling out, there's just tremendous value and um, a 5G network where data is encrypted and people can have true privacy and uh, you know at one tenth or one one hundredth the cost whatever it actually rolls out of you know tr compared to the traditional networks like AT&T and Verizon so in this moment I was going back to check the email that they sent me and they told me to get tweezers so I trusted them and I got some tweezers from the bathroom just pulled set the side to the back and that's where the SD card is it's right next to the fan, right below your little barcode. So you think like you could push it, like you know how some you just push and it pops out. It's not one of those at all. So you definitely need tweezers for this because you have to get a really good grip on it and kind of yank it out. But once you get it a little bit loose, it comes out the rest of the way. So I, I'm trying to get a really good grip. I, I actually think I indented the SD card in a very tiny bit. But I didn't damage it at all. But um, it's you definitely need to be careful with it and make sure that you don't damage anything, especially that one wire, because you don't want to be resoldering it uh, the antenna wire. So how I found Helium was actually from a Facebook ad, and they were I guess they were pretty desperate at the time. This was like October, November of 2019, a long time ago, before the network really even existed. I kind of took a gamble on it because. I had earnings from Chainlink and other ones 
um, and Ethereum from back in the day. So I wanted to like diversify the crypto earnings. And here's the original card right here, 64 gigabytes Extreme Pro from SanDisk. And this is the one that I'm gonna use, Samsung Pro Endurance. So I think the endurance means that it can be written on top of a lot. So we're gonna see how it tests out. It's probably gonna take a couple days for the blockchain to actually um, sync back up to this card. I think I got this card for like 40, 50 bucks, something like that, I forgot. I just can't, my mind can't uh, hold the memory card prices in my head because they just change every other month and they just keep going down and down. I think at this moment you can get a terabyte SD card for like 220 bucks or you just a couple months ago they were like 300 bucks. So that's a technology that's always going down. So when you do something like this, um, you definitely should upgrade a decent amount. Uh, 128 minimum, I guess, is... Uh, I, th I thought I was upgrading from, like, 32 or 16, so I thought I was update upgrading big time, but once I opened it up and found that it was only a 64, I was kind of disappointed I only upgraded uh, one generation up. But, you know, once you've got the new one in there, the other thing you got to do is just screw the screws back on. So this is a pretty simple process. Um, you just have to be careful with it because these things are so precious that at one point they were going for like 1500 bucks on eBay. I remember before any of the other five, uh, other iter iterations of a hotspot from other companies came out. So helium was uh, pretty genius and they thought, you know, let's, uh, subcontract out these hotspots and have other companies make them. But when I, when I first got it in 2019, um, they actually had like a special promotion, like 150 bucks off and I ended up getting it for like 350. And, um, so that was cool. I, I definitely took a huge gamble because the coins weren't even on an exchange for like a year or more, but, um, it's definitely, this is one of the most promising projects cause it actually has, you know, real value that, um, uh, especially with the 5g that will be out around the corner within the next couple years. I definitely need to be patient. But um, I could see the coin going to at least, uh, if the coin went to $10,000, then it would be a trillion dollar coin. I mean, AT&T at the moment, off the top of my head, it, I think it's at like $250 billion in market cap. So thinking that something like this would be four times AT&T is definitely a huge stretch. But I think the value in this helium coin will definitely be the decentralized network and the once you have tens of thousands of 5g nodes set up it'll be a lot more reliable than an at&t type network because it's going to be one tenth the price or whatever they end up rolling it out at so that'll be very exciting so in the next clip here i'm going to show you the mount i have and uh, i actually 3d printed this mount and it's a prototype, and I have a, a link down in the description below to my Etsy shop. My Etsy shop's been open since 2017, but this is the first uh, Helium or cryptocurrency product. So this hotspot, this, this window's pretty big. It's at least, I don't know, 15 feet or between 15 and 18 feet up. And as soon as I put this miner up this high, I instantly got one witness so before i put it this high i had no witnesses but i think if i kept it as low as i did i would have at least a couple witnesses now just because a couple popped up around me but originally i i put this up here and upgraded the antenna to just a small gain i should have maybe gotten a larger antenna but i got a smaller one because i didn't want to be too obstructive and I wanted it to be the same size as the, the clear window because the metal kind of messes them up a little bit. But I'm just fidgeting with it here, trying to get it to stand up straight. I have like this uh, Chinese thick double-sided tape that you've seen. Like um, it looks kind of like a gel at the bottom of this, so it sticks pretty well. And it, it was actually kind of hard to rip it out because I had it up this high before, before I switched out the SD card. And I just slowly pulled it out but that's why the Etsy link is going to look a little different because this prototype wouldn't work without that double-sided tape. So here's some pictures of it. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. You can see that double-sided tape in this last picture. Um, and I also got to get my new kit and screw in that screw. But I really appreciate you watching. Hopefully this made you less skittish about opening up your hotspot. Peace, guys. Enjoy the People's Network.